Hey guys, Noah here. Welcome back to my channel. But if you're new here, then welcome to my channel. Today I'm just going to do a quick repotting video. I haven't done one of these in a while on my channel and I know that some of you guys have requested them and I also have some plants that need repotting. I actually have a lot of plants that need repotting so if you guys like this type of video definitely let me know in the comments down below and I can do more. Today I'm just going to be repotting my global green pothos. It's looking great and has some roots growing out of the bottom so that's why as well as this neon pothos and this one has roots growing out of the bottom as well. I got these super cute pots that I have to share with you guys. Look at them. It's so cute and it's like a terracotta material and I got two ones taller and ones shorter. I got these off of Amazon from the brand Pody and uh, they come with little saucers as well. So it's so, so, so freaking cute. I can't wait to style with these. I'm actually trying to get more into like decorative pots and like have my plant room a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So they actually have a ton of plants that I have in my shopping cart. I'll share with you guys, but they have these like, um, rattan style pots but it says that it's ceramic and i'm dying to get those those are going to be next and then they have like a ton of other pots that i'm just dying for and they always come in like sets of two or four so i really love them i also have another set from them that are all white uh, but they're all a little bit different and they're so freaking cute i love them so Pody is like my go-to brand when it comes to like decorative pots. Usually I also try to go to like Home Goods or Ross or something like that for pots, but lately I haven't been really finding anything too great. So I have been ordering on Amazon. So I'll leave the link down below in the description box if you're interested, but I'm gonna share with you guys just how I repot. Normally I would just stick like the nursery pot into here and that's normally what I do, but I've been really into terracotta pots and I did not realize that these were terracotta. They're like a total terracotta material and the best part is they come with a draining hole, a drainage hole at the bottom. So I could totally pot straight into this. I noticed that terracotta pots are really good for my like plant style because I tend to overwater and the terracotta actually dries out the soil faster. So when you water more, you're not going to be overwatering. So terracotta pots are great for overwaterers like me. I'm definitely not an underwaterer. I'm an overwaterer. So these are great. I'm going to zoom you guys in closer and do a little bit repotting. So what's really cool about these is it comes with like a little stopper so that you're not spilling your soil everywhere it looks like this and you just kind of put it over the hole like that and it just keep, prevents you from making a super huge mess which I love so I'm gonna throw these in here and then I'm actually I recently watered these plants which is unfortunate but what can you do I have this container where I pre-mix my own soil and I'm going to put some of my mixture in here. I actually was wondering if you guys wanted me to sell my soil mixture on my Etsy shop. Um, I've gotten like one person saying that they did, but I don't know if like other people would want it. I basically just mix regular potting soil, perlite, earth, earthworm castings, mosquito bits, and I do put a lot of um, orchid bark in there as well. Uh, sometimes I add peat moss, sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends on my mood. <laughs> so... Uh, but I think the orchid bark is what really makes it like a good chunky mix and of course a ton of perlite so that's the main thing I could definitely sell it because I know a lot of people are too lazy like I was to create their own soil so I think it would help out a lot of people so this one's not as wet as the other one I'm gonna do this one first now this pot is wider but this one's a little bit taller I guess it doesn't really matter which one I do. I'm probably gonna put the taller one, the global green, just cause I think that's gonna look cute. So then I'm just going to slowly massage it till it comes out. Those are great roots, look at that. And I'm gonna put, go ahead and put it in here and loosen up the soil around it a little bit. I'm probably not gonna really have to water these too much because the soil is pretty wet from when I watered it recently. So just be aware of that. Normally you would water fully after repotting, but I don't really need to. I like to compact it a little bit, but not too much. Yeah, that looks great. Pretty easy to do. 
I know a lot of people are scared to repot plants, but it's such an easy thing to do and your plants are really gonna appreciate it. Now that it's springtime, we definitely have to be repotting most of our plants. Whoa, that one definitely needed a bigger pot. So super happy that this is getting a bigger pot. Massage it a little bit. Don't be scared to repot. It's a learning experience, but most of the time your plants aren't going to die from being repotted, so you're fine. Unless your plant is maybe already struggling and it goes into shock, but for the most part, if it's root bound and you can see the roots coming out from the bottom, then that just shows you're good to go. And pothos are so easy that you don't even really have to worry. All right. Now I'm gonna find a cute place to style them in my home. But those are the two plants repotted in there. Like I said, I'm not gonna water it today. I'll water it tomorrow probably because I know the terracotta is gonna suck up all the moisture. That looks so cute though. Let me show you guys a close up. Ugh, I'm just obsessed with these planters. Like I can't even tell you how much I love them. So yeah, I got my global green right here, looking fantastic in this pot, and then my neon pothos, which I know is gonna grow super fast, so it's probably gonna grow out of this pot pretty quickly, but for now it's so freaking cute, and let's go find a place to style this in my home. All right, so I've got this plant shelf in my plant room, and this sign right here has some terracotta color in it, so I'm thinking I could put it up here and it'll go really well. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna get rid of this because it's just decorative and I don't really need that And I'm just gonna kind of move everything over a little bit move This one over move these over a little bit more And then I've got some space for them. So let's go ahead and put them up here Can't forget the saucers Give it some dimension, put one further back, one forward. Let's see how that looks. Oh my God, you guys, I'm obsessed. Are you kidding? It's so freaking cute. Love them. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. I absolutely love how they turned out. They're so cute. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you guys would like to see more repotting videos, definitely let me know that as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.